Hey guys, if you're anyone, one, and I'm bringing you some news about the Nintendo Switch. Now, we all know that Bethesda is bringing Doom and Wolfenstein to the Switch. But recently, the Vice President of Marketing and Communications at Bethesda, Pete Hines, said there will be more of his company's games running on the console in the horizon. So basically, he seems to be saying that Bethesda is backing up the Switch. And it's a good thing. It's good to see a third-party dev, especially one like Bethesda, really backing up a Nintendo console. It's kind of like when Ubisoft backed up the Wii U, even though that didn't really work out. But that could have been because not many people bought the Wii U, or it could also have been because Ubisoft brought over half-baked ports, such as Watch Dogs that didn't come with all the DLC, and Splinter Cell that didn't come with a split-screen co-op. But Bethesda, on the other hand, is not bringing over a half-baked port. In fact, Doom not only isn't half-baked, it's coming with all the DLC except for the map editor. And... In reality, this holiday season in general is really important for the Switch. We have a lot of third party coming. We have Eleanor, we have Doom, we have FIFA, NBA 2K18 is already out. We have a lot of games from third party, AAA third party devs, as well, who I think are actually going to look at this holiday season very closely and consider what they're going to bring over next. So I think this holiday season is extremely important for the Nintendo Switch because I think that with all these third party coming out, if they are all successful, that because remember, we have third party coming out from Capcom, from Bethesda, from Rockstar. So I really think these companies are just looking at this holiday season when all these third party release and they're looking, going to look at their sale numbers and they're going to use that basis on what games to bring over to the Switch in the future. Now, I'm not telling everybody, go out and buy all these third-party games so that these third-party developers will bring over all their future games to the Switch. But what I am saying is that it seems, I mean, like, almost all these third-party games are coming out around the same time. So it kind of seems like these third-party devs are just going to use this holiday season as a test run for the Switch. And I think if it's successful, a lot of them will bring over, like, basically every third-party game over to the Switch in the future years. So this holiday season may be a lot more important to Nintendo than most people think. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the matter. Why don't you guys let me know yours in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.